Hey everybody, Justin here with Ultrabyte Lights, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the Phoenix Quantum 2.0 800 stick light. This 800 stick light has 8 modules, and it's about 37 and a half inches long. You can select a light to be amber only, where the entire bar is only amber. You can have single color, where you can program each module to be a different single color. You can have dual color, where you can have each module be a dual color, tri-color, quad color, and the new option of quint, which features all 5 colors, which are amber, blue, red, white, and green. The light has a 10 foot wiring harness that's included and it has 10 modes that can be individually set to do different functions such as flashing, takedown, arrow functions and much more. We'll get into that in the software in just a little bit. To program the bar it includes a USB plug which you would plug into a computer and program all the functions using the free downloaded software from Phoenix. For mounting you have the option of mounting from the rear. Included is a hex bolt. Remove the end cap that doesn't have the wires coming out of it. That's usually the easiest one. It slides your bolts into the channel on the back of the light. Then, sold separately, we have brackets such as a headliner bracket, an L bracket, a swivel bracket, or if you don't want to mount the light from the rear, you can utilize the end cap mounting bracket that connects here. Now, let's jump into the Quantum software and I'll show you our demo Quantum 600 stick light, which functions just like the 800 and I'll show you all the features and functions that are available. So here I have my Quantum 600 demo bar. I've plugged it in with the USB plug into my computer and I've applied power to the power and ground on the harness there. So let's jump into the Quantum software here. So as you can see, I've unlocked quad level and if I wanted to unlock Quint, I would simply hit this button and follow the prompts. To configure the bar, I'm gonna head over to here. So now that I have the option for quad, it wants to know which combination of quad I want, because again, there's five colors available, so I can set all of these five combinations, or one of these five combinations, to each of these modules. So I can select those to be um, red, blue, amber, and white, and this one can have red, blue, amber, and green. And I can click across, and then for this last one, I'll switch it back to red, blue, amber, and white. Then next. All right, so now that I'm on this step here, I can select which input, um, for, I could select every input and select which function I want that input to do. So again, I only have 10 inputs because that's what comes with the bar. If I wanted to use all 28 of these inputs, I would need a converter. So for option one, I can set that to be something like a tail light, a cruise light, flashing, direction, turn signal, brake light, flood and alley, cutoff, pattern changer. So let me show you the different patterns that would be available. So if it was a flashing light, you would have the option for all of the, fla all the flash patterns that are available. If it's something like tail light, it's gonna remove your option for a pattern because it's a tail light. There is no flash pattern available. And then for each, you can also select the brightness. So maybe from input one, we wanna set up a tail and we wanna set that at 10% brightness. And now I could click this light head here and set this one to be red and this one to be red. And now when I activate input one, which connects that to the tail light of my vehicle, it would activate the bar to do 10% brightness on these two outer modules. Let's say input two, maybe I want that to be my, my turn signal. Could do the same thing. Turn signal, it removes the option for flash pattern because it's a turn signal. And maybe I want that one at 10% brightness also. And maybe I want to do the two inner ones to be my turn signal, which would be kind of weird, but we can do that if we wanted. That's the flexibility of the quantum stick. So let's set up one. Oops, let me change my input to three. And let's set up a flashing pattern and I'll show you how it looks. So for flashing, we'll do cluster. And we're going to do 100% brightness. Now, I'm going to select each module. And I can, now again, because it's quad, I can select if I want one color, I can select two colors select three or I could select all four so for this I'll set all four and then on these outer ones I can uncheck those also I wanted to point out um, because I set these two inner ones or these four inner ones to have the option for green as I click through it removes the option for green and then when I click to the outside one it adds the option for white okay. so that would that's only available because I have a quad bar and I selected the inner modules to have that color combination. Okay. And we just will leave, we'll leave that one as blue. All right, so now I'm just gonna hit program. It'll take a few seconds, it's gonna program the bar for me. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can toggle on active input and it will demonstrate the pattern that I programmed so I can see what it looks like in person. So maybe I don't like it, before I unplug it and go install it on my vehicle, I can come back to the software and update it. Also, in the software, you can save your build so you can access it later, which is very important. Want to make sure you save that so you can access it again um, should you want to edit your bar down the road. So that's the software, and that's how it works. So that's the Quantum 800 2.0. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.